day and welcome to another edition of Island Facts Sports Talk. I'm joined today by Kane Critchlow, who is presently a member of the Watford Football Club over in the UK. Obviously, it's exciting times as you're preparing for another upcoming season, Kane. Um, what has it been like for you early in in your time at Watford? Um, I'd say it's been overall a really good experience. Um, obviously, when I first came, I started preseason straight away with the first team, and that was when we went to Austria. And um, that was a great experience, you know, being around Premier League players um, with real life pros and seeing how they, you know, act day in and day out in the football environment. And then um, obviously, we started our under 23 season where I got off to a good start. And um, we actually did pretty well that season. Unfortunately, I got injured. And, you know, it's kind of set me back and set back my goals for that season. But then, you know, I was I got back fit and, you know, now I'm just trying to stay fit for this upcoming season so I can, you know, show what I can do. How emotional was it when you did get injured? Because you were, you were I mean, the coach was really looking at you as a possible person to come into the team later in the season, but then the injury would have set you way back. So how, how emotionally did it affect you? Um, obviously, it was a bit upsetting, but um, the year before, I actually broke my other ankle, so I knew what to expect. I knew how to handle the situation. Um, around that time, you know, I was actually training in around the first team, and they had a couple cup games coming up. So I was most likely about to be involved, but obviously the injury came, and I had to be out for two, three months. But, you know, I just used that as motivation to come back better than I was before. Yeah. When you're, when you're there, obviously, family's back in Bermuda um, and you're, you're injured. You were, uh, one of your teammates actually helped you out by, you know, making sure that you were taken care of, of of sorts. Did that actually make you feel a lot more comfortable being around the team because you had players and teammates that were looking at a guy who is, looking to come in and help a team but still young um but but help him out yeah um the guy was, was actually um named nathaniel chalaba um we became close in that preseason tour in austria through playstation really we started playing playstation together and um mm -hmm. from then we just became good friends and then when i got injured he actually offered to you know take me in live at his house because he knew that my family was back in Bermuda and I was living out here by myself. So him and his girlfriend offered to take me in and they took care of me for the month that I stayed at his house. So I was really grateful for that, especially that I just met him that summer. How, how challenging was it for you to get back fit? Because you, you, you're, you're at a fitness level, you get injured and, and that time off, although you can do some form of training, it's not the same. And then your teammates are that much further ahead because they've been working out, training, playing all that time. Now you're playing catch up to try and get back into the team. So how, how challenging is it to get back to that fitness and kind of catch up at the speed that they're at? Um, obviously, it's quite challenging because, you know, I basically had to learn how to run again and I lost a lot of muscle in my leg. So I had to build all that up once I was able to come out the cast and, um, mainly the type of gym work I was doing was only upper body and single leg stuff on my good leg. But, um, you know, it was always quite difficult seeing my teammates, you know, playing, scoring goals while I have to sit on the sideline doing prehab just to come back. But I just tried to keep positive and kept, kept motivating myself to, well, telling myself that I'll be back stronger than I was before. What was that moment like the first game back for you um, actually joining your teammates, coming on the field, what goes through your mind? Um, well, I say, but I was thinking just like, I want to score a goal really, because I had to catch up the other strikers. But, um, you know, they just eased me back into it really. So they didn't just throw me out in the deep end, played a couple of minutes here and there, just to see how, what my fitness levels were like. And um, gradually I started increasing my minutes and then you know, I was, get, I was back up to full fitness during our last game, but then that's when Corona hit and the season ended. So it was always a 
Yeah. The unfortunate thing for the first team, they went down. What is the atmosphere like around the club now that you're preparing for life in championship? Um, obviously, it was a bit uh, upsetting, really, that they went down. Um, but I would say, like, now, back in training, like, the players are, you know, in good spirits. They're ready to tackle this challenge of the championship. And, you know, I think, obviously, bringing in the new manager, I think that he's the one to set us in the right direction to help us get back to the Premier League. Have you been invited back to the first team training yet, or you're still with the, the under-23s? Um, I started off with the 23s because the um, first team had a longer holiday. And then um, just yesterday, actually, I was started back training with them, and I have training later on today. So, yeah, I'm back with them, and we're supposed to have a game on Saturday. Right. What, how big of a tempo is the change between the two? Because the under-23s are, are basically looking to get into that first team, but at the first team level, it, it's kind of the speed is a little different, is it? Yes, it's it's a lot different because obviously they're men compared to you know us young men, and um, their their playing tempo is a lot faster. They're obviously stronger. They um, know what they're gonna do before they get the ball. Like I I just say, the main difference is the speed of play compared to the twenty threes. Yeah. How did you get over the the the, the stop of football during the coronavirus? Um, well, obviously, you know, everyone was stuck at home quarantining. And, you know, I actually ordered exercise equipment to my house to try and keep fit. Like, um, bought some weights, bought a walk bike. And um, I was just exercising in case, you know, of the restart of the season. And um, obviously, like, the season restarted. So I was I was ready to start training again. Yeah. Looking at it, um, what was it the, the atmosphere like once you guys were allowed back at the facility? Because now you have all these different changes about how you train, how many times you train, where you train, what you have to do when you're inside, what you have to do when you're outside. So how, how difficult was that for, for you adjusting to that as well as your teammates? Um, it was actually a, a quite big change for all of us. Like. Um, we had to get tested twice a week for corona. So I had to put that thing up our nerves, which is very uncomfortable. Right. Uh, we actually have to, we're not allowed in the changing room. So we have to social distance sitting outside. Um, the staff are always cleaning the equipment, the balls, the goal posts. Like it's, it's just been a big change for us, but you know, we've all been able to cope with it. Yeah. Looking at the upcoming season, we've still, um, all the rules in place by the UK government, but they're starting to allow some fans in to, to, to watch, I guess, when the season starts. Um, having the ability to have fans at the game, for you and your teammates, what, what would that mean for you guys? Um, I think the, the fans play a big part in, you know, supporting the team because, you know, I've been to a couple of games during the lockdown when, we um, resumed, maybe resumed the league and the stadium is just very quiet and all you hear is the players on the field. But I think um, the players ourselves, we need that extra push from the fans, you know, cheering us on because it kind of motivates us in a way. Yeah. Looking at coming from a place like Bermuda, going to a club like Watford once you did sign um, and, and having the start that you had looking promising for the upcoming season, but then the disaster happens with, the, with the, the ankle injury, and then obviously you get back fit, and then here's Corona. Um, are you anxious this season to get started to see, to pick up where you left off? Yes, I'm, I'm more than ready. I've been training basically all over lockdown, um, obviously with the first team as well when they finished their season. Um, we got a short little break and then we were back in, but I'm, I'm more than ready to get going and get the season started. Yeah. Have you been contacted by um, Coach Kyle Lightborn to see if there's any way you can get into the Bermuda national team? Um, no, not recent. I haven't got any um, contact from him, but you know, whenever my country calls, I'll always be ready. Yeah. Well, with two, two international games coming up, I guess once you get started, the phone will be ringing. <laughs> Um, no, what what is the what is what is it like around Watford? I, I know I asked you before about um, 
the atmosphere now getting ready for the Champions League, but um, championship. But um, looking at how some players, um, obviously some players are let go, some players are kept, the, the harmony around the club, what is that like? Um, well, actually, when I, when I first joined, um, I always thought that the club was a really friendly club, like a big family type of thing, because, you know, obviously you get new signings every year, um, summertime, January, and there's always new faces, but I just feel like they were always open to new players, very friendly. They speak to you, especially like first team, you wouldn't expect that, but they're actually really friendly people. Um, and just an example of that is when is Nathaniel Chalaba and um, Domingos Kina, when I was away, they were the first ones to, you know, come up to and speak to me, ask me where I'm from and all that stuff. And, um, you know, I, I just say they're really, they're really friendly, to be honest, yeah. Yeah. Looking at how the, the, the style of the new coach, that, the system that he wants you guys to play, do, do you think it suits, especially in the first team, do you think it suits your game? Do you have to make adjustments? Um, yeah, I think it could suit my game personally because, you know, normally I play as a attacking midfielder, number 10, and, you know, his coming um, had this new formation, 5-3-2, where I can play as that number 10 role. So I think, you know, his new style will suit me. He's more of a uh, old school manager. So he's, he's very strict, knows what he wants out of his players. And if you don't execute what he wants, then you won't play. But I think, you know, he could be good for us in this upcoming yeah. season. It's unfortunate that the, the previous manager was let go because he was, he actually had a keen interest in you pushing you into that, into that opportunity to get that first team. But what was one of the first messages the, the, the coach, the new coach, um, sat down and, 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 and explained to the, to the players? Um, I think he was just trying to implement what he wants out of us. So, like I said, he's coming with his new style of play. He, he's explained how he wants us to press, how he wants us to attack, and each role of each player. So I think that's mainly the main thing he's been saying to us these past two, couple of days. Yeah. Obviously, you, you'll be chomping at the bit um, to probably, to hopefully be in the Watford lineup when, when Bristol City come to town, because obviously, <laughs> McKee would be on the other side. Um, with, with that said, um, how, how, how much inspiration do you get from someone like McKee, who's playing in the championship, a threat in the championship, and it's kind of, you know, one of the, one of the players all the time that whenever Bristol City is going to play, they're talking about him. Yeah, um, actually, the key uh, texted me on my birthday the other day, you know, just wish me happy birthday. And that when we play against him, he expects me to be in the lineup uh, to play against me. So, so that's something we always look forward to. You know, two Bermudians getting head to head in the championship will be something big for the. But yeah, it's a it's a big inspiration. You know, seeing him do well, and um, it just shows that you know someone coming from a small island like Bermuda can play. In the big leagues out in England, so it has 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 been really inspirational. Yeah, well, happy belated birthday! Um, but but throwing out that challenge, you know, <laughs> you have a word with your defenders, and obviously, if you're playing, he'll have a word with his defenders. Whatever you do, don't let this guy score. <laughs> yeah. Well, how how much of it, how much of it, of the surroundings around Watford um, have changed since the pandemic? Um. I just say mainly the obviously they implemented the social distancing so you can't really you know be around the players as much um you just have to follow the all the new rules and regulations that the the board has you know just so they obviously won't get in trouble or anything like that um we've implemented like a new car park system a one way system and around the training ground just you know to have the social distance rules, and um, you know, it, it it is a bit a lot different than obviously what we're used to and what we had before. Are you guys still having to be tested every day going into training, or is it quite twice a week, or how does that go now? Yeah, we're we're still getting tested um, quite often. I was actually tested two days ago, and um, <laughs> the test is so uncomfortable. Like cash, cash, and you die. But yeah, we're still getting 
quite often and you know if anyone does actually come up positive then they'll just have to self-isolate for seven days and then get retested okay all right so i know you have training this afternoon uh we look forward to hopefully you getting on the field tomorrow um in in the preseason game and uh you become a regular in that uh, Watford starting lineup in the Champions League or even in the team. And we will all look forward to that that day. Whether you travel to Bristol or they come to Watford, <laughs> we'll be tuning in for that particular game for sure in the championship. Yep, yep. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. I enjoyed thank it. Good luck. Stay fit and start scoring some goals. Hopefully see you in the pink jersey in October. Yeah, hopefully. Thank you. All right. All righty, thanks.